hello guys and welcome back to another episode of jam chemistry and of course uh, we are going to a new topic today rates of reactions rates of what reactions so on that this topic we're going to look at what rate of reactions is one then two of course i'm going to see uh what determines what rate of what reaction or how rates of reactions are measured then we're going to look at very importantly factors factor that affects the rate of a chemical reaction all right so please open your heart to learn and of course do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by the o3 school jam app it is being displayed on your screen right now it is all you need to succeed in your exam if you do not have that app if you do not have that app on your phone you are doing yourself all right it has all the past questions you can ever ask for it has lecture notes right through the classroom feature that you can study and then with our ai power tutor powered by chat gpt you can be tutored and be taught while you are trying to decipher and answer the questions it has what wonderful feature like the question search feature where you can search for questions by topic all right and of course very importantly the utme challenge a challenge that has been conducted for all students that are writing jam for this particular year all right to compete to win prizes and of course you see your score after every challenge the challenge begins and ends just one week to what your jam exam so every saturday we conduct that challenge for you and then you compete to win prizes you see your score every after every challenge by your subject combination that way you are getting used to how jam releases its result how jam set their past questions also how jam set their questions rather and then you are getting used to what everything about jam and you're building your confidence towards the main exam it's a feature you do not want to play with please jump on the app right now go to play store download the app immediately all right and start joining us okay so please in case you want to activate activation is just three thousand naira after the time of shooting this video all right so it may increase so please pass your exam once and for all all right so uh if you want to activate or you want to download the app for your computer so that you can practice without distractions just send a message on whatsapp 091 all right just send what uh that's request for how to download this app on my computer and then i will what send i personally will send you what a link i'll send you a link to download it for your computer and then you can practice without distraction in case you want to activate the app also send a message on the, to this number on whatsapp and you will send a procedure that you will follow to activate <laughs> all right rates of what reactions now it's very important to know that different reactions that different reactions occur at different rates different reactions occur at different rates and even a single reaction a single reaction can occur at different rates depending on the reaction conditions all right a single reaction can occur at different rates depending on the reaction conditions so the condition may be like maybe is the catalyst present during the reaction right is in the presence of light right what the concentration for of the reactants or the product formed all right many reasons can what can 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 make a single reaction to occur what at different rates so in the course of these lessons we are going to be looking at the factors that affect the rate of a chemical reaction so different reactions can occur at different rates right and a single reaction can also occur at different rates depending on the reaction conditions depending on the conditions that are set for that what reactions so generally we say that what rate of reaction is the amount is the amount amount in moles in moles is the amount in moles is the amount in what in moles of what reactants used up of reactants of reactants used up and products products formed per unit time so therefore we define what rate of reaction generally as the amount as the amount in moles all right as the amount in moles of reactants that are used up or products that are formed per unit time that is the simple definition of what of rate of reaction all right so we say 
that different reactions occur at different rates and a single reaction can occur at different rates depending on the condition that are set for that reaction to occur all right and then we say generally that what that rate of reactions is what defined as the what as the amount in moles of reactants that are used up or the products that are formed per unit time so mathematically 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 we see that what that rates of reactions all right is equals to what change in concentration is equals to change in concentration change in concentration of reactants or products all right all over time taking time taking for the change to occur all right so we say that mathematically right uh, because we have said we have defined that what generally rate of reactions is the what is the amount in moles of reactants that are used up or the product that are formed all right per unit what time so mathematically it is transcripted or it is transcribed as what rate of reaction is because of change in concentration of reactants or products all over time taking for the change to what to occur the unit of rate of reaction is moles mole per dm cube seconds all right this is what the unit of what of rate of reaction or you can say or or rather you say or the unit of what mole dm cube dmq per and then we have what second was per this would be what the what the unit of what of rate of reaction so either this unit or this unit is what is fine all right mole per decimeter per second all right is the what the unit for what for rate of what of reaction so please take this into into what your mind very easy now what to do next or what to see next is to see how reaction rates are determined how reaction rates are what determined all right now the rate at which a reaction occurs right is measured by some some of what some very few factors the rate at which a reaction occurs is measured by one so one we say what use what decrease decrease in reactants decrease in reactants or more or mass concentration all right this is one way what we determine what the rate how what how the rate of reaction is what is measured decrease in reactants right or what mass concentration then number two increase in products or mass concentration all right the increase of what of what in the product or what the mass what concentration okay then of course thirdly we look at what volume of gas produced per unit time okay volume of what gas produced per unit time and then lastly we also what look at what changes changes in ph color etc all right so now these are what our reaction rates are determined all right so we measure the rate of what chemical reaction or the rate at which a chemical reaction is measured by what by the decrease in what in reactant or mass concentration all right or by what the increase in product decrease in reactant increase in product or mass concentration then volume of gas produced per unit time and what changes in what in ph color and what other what factors okay so in in the course of this video we have learned that what different reactions can occur at different rates okay and then we also learn that the same, even a single reaction can occur at different rates depending on the conditions that are set for that reaction to occur okay and we say generally 
generally the rate of what reaction is what is defined as the amount in moles of reactants that are used up or products that are formed per unit time and then we we'll transcribe it mathematically right to be what change in concentration of reactants or products all over what time taken for the change to occur okay then of course we see that what how are reaction rates were determined now we say that what the, the rate at which a chemical reaction occurs is measured using what some of these decrease in what in reactant or mass concentration increase in product or mass concentration the volume of the gas that is produced per unit time changes in ph color etc and of course please do not forget to like this video do not forget to what to subscribe to this channel click on that red subscribe button right now because if you don't do that you will not get notification whenever we release a new video subscription to the channel is completely what free all right and of course do not forget to what to share this video to your friends and loved ones and of course we'll see you in the next episode where we we'll start talking about factors that affect the rate of a chemical reaction but before we do that i'm going to take a question from the old theory schools jump up okay and of course this is a 2014 number 29 it has been displayed displayed on your screen right now 2014 number 29 from the old theory school jump up there are thousands of questions on the app over 27,000 past questions. So please jump on the app right now because it's very important. Now, they said in the chemical reaction, the change in concentration of a reactant with time, the change in concentration of a reactant with what? With time is A, enthalpy of reaction, B, rate of reaction, C, order of reaction, and D, entropy. Of reaction all right and of course the correct answer there is what is rate of reaction is rate of reaction question uh, that's option what b all right so please make sure what you like this video make sure you subscribe make sure you share and download the app right away and start what using it for your own what use all right and of course i'll see you in the next episode we'll start talking about factors that affect the rate of a chemical reaction see you